Or they're sure making it hard to eat healthy, aren't they? Oh, I hate to sound so gloomy in this video. I apologize for that, but it's like everything I'm looking at, everything has gone up. Good morning. Today we're at Kroger. We're going to check out the new sales for the week. Check the shelves. Some of the things you guys have asked about. Let's get to it. First sale we come up on, as soon as we come in Kroger here, they have a deal going on this week. Uh, you have to buy three or more, but 12 packs are $4.25. After you buy three, uh, you can mix and match Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or 7-Up products. It's hard to believe that the regular price of 12 packs is going to be $6.49. $6.49 for a 12-pack of Coke. But this is good for Pepsi, 7-Up, or Coke this week. Buy three or more, get them for $4.25 each. We do have a deal on their Ice Mountain Spring Water also. Uh, three for $10, but you don't have to buy three. You can just get one. It'll come out to $3.33. You have the three pound, 80% lean ground beef flavor seal roll. I like how they put that. Why don't they just say meat tube? Three forty-six a pound. You got to buy it three pounds, $10.39. Um, you know, we don't really like buying the meat in the tube, but it is a pretty good deal. Also, one of our viewers told me to check out the Chuck Roast this week, that it was going to be $4.99 a pound. Thank you for that. That's about as cheap as we're going to get it anymore. Regular price, $7.99 a pound. So, it's a pretty good deal. They do have their Heritage Farm thighs and drum legs on sale this week, $0.99 cents a pound. We're not real big on Heritage Farm, but we've gotten some good comments about it. I'll tell you what, this is all the Tyson chicken that they have here. We've been seeing that it's been low pretty much everywhere. They do have this Amish country, uh, which is a little pricey, but so is Tyson. They do have their pork chops on sale again this week, $2.99 a pound. I gotta say, they look pretty good. Uh, regularly $3.99 a pound, so you save a dollar a pound. They do also have their St. Louis style pork spare ribs on sale, $3.99 a pound, uh, and that saves you about a dollar a pound. Also, I know we've had some comments on the split chicken breast. Now this is at the Heritage Farm. Bone-in chicken breast on sale this week, 99 cents a pound, normally $2.09 a pound. So that's a pretty good deal. So the four pound size chicken party wings from Kroger has shot up to $17.99. Uh, we got them on sale, I think it was $9.99, right before the Super Bowl. So just gonna show you how fast things can shoot back up. I want to point out, normally $6.99 here, they do have the 42-ounce Quaker Oats on sale this week for $4.49. Um, still seems a little high, but it's what it is. do have a digital coupon this week on different varieties, select varieties of Kellogg's. I do not think Raisin Bran is included in this, but it does knock off... Uh, it'll bring it down to $1.79 each with the digital coupon. So that's a pretty decent deal these days. Uh, this must be something new. Save $2 each when you buy three or more select varieties of Quilted Northern. So that would bring the price down to $15.99, which is a good deal. My question is, is does that include other things with the Save $2 deal? Uh, like, can I buy this and that and mix and match? I don't believe you can because it would say that. I mean, it says select varieties, but it has Angel Soft, Quilted Northern, uh, laundry detergents part of this deal, too. We may have to find out. Uh, if you know, let me know down in the comments because that would bring this down to a good deal on Tide. Now their digital deal only brings the Kroger toilet paper that we usually get down to $11.99. It used to bring it down to $10.99. Regular price $12.99. Man, this stuff just keeps going up and up and up. A few months ago, it was $9.99 all day long for this toilet paper. Okay, so I just talked to somebody because I really wanted to find out whether you can mix and match these with the save $2 each when you buy three or more deal. Yes, you can. So you could buy Quilted Northern, Angel Soft, Tide. You can mix and match anything that is part of the save $2 when you buy three or more deal. They do have a digital coupon for the Lay's Stacks potato chips, which brings them down to 99 cents. Pretty good deal. We've seen that it's been like $1.30 everywhere. It was $1.48 a can at Walmart. They do have some digital deals over here in this aisle too. They have the Nature Valley uh, select variety, six to 12 count for $1.99. 
uh, with the digital deal. They also still have the Kroger's peanut butter for 99 cents with the digital deal. That's pretty good. And they have the Planters peanuts. Uh, they do have some honey roasted there. $2.99 with the digital deal. Getting comments on the Chef Boyardee. People not being able to find it. I gotta say, Kroger seems to have way more than they can deal with. Also, it is still 10 for $10. So basically, just a dollar each with your Kroger card. You don't have to buy 10 with this deal. I did want to show that the Kroger broth is way up. It says low price of 89 cents. Well, 89 cents is the highest I've ever seen this. Uh, it used to be 59 cents, then it did go up to 69 cents. Now they're saying low price, 89 cents. So I just found a five pound thing of cuties mandarins, which are very bruised up. A lot of them are. $6.99, $6.99, that's, that's ridiculous. They do have the sweet onions for 99 cents a pound this week, normally $1.19 a pound. I'll go ahead and buy one of these. They do have their red potatoes on sale this week, five pounds for $3.99, still a little high. Um, but the sale on these used to be $2.99. Just like Meyer, they have their giant naval oranges on sale this week. Their heirloom naval oranges. I gotta say, these are huge. They're 99 cents a piece. But I mean, like as big as a softball. Got a lot of comments on the Sumo Mandarins. Uh, they are pricey. Two for five dollars here. We got six of them at Sam's Club the other day for eight dollars. Me and Jessica absolutely love these things. Um, but yeah, two for five here, that's pretty pricey. Got a few comments on pears that you haven't been able to find a lot of the green ones. Well, yeah, we don't have them here either. Um, they have a couple different kinds, but yeah, they're out of the ones that we like. They do have the red pears for $1.69 a pound. So they have honey crisp apples and the Envy apples, $6.79 for a three pound bag for both of them. Normally $7.49. Oof. I will stick to my gala apples. Thank you very much. Gala, however you say that. So I am starting to think that Meyer just made a mistake on their tag the other day when they were showing these honey crisp apples. They were the Envy style apples. They don't even have a price on these though. I don't know how much these are. They were $1.79 a piece at Meyer, which I don't know. That might they might have made a mistake on the tag. This is a dollar eight per dollar eighty-eight per pound of the honey crisp apples here. They do have the pints of blueberries for $3.49. About the same as we've seen it everywhere. They have the one pound strawberries private selection for $3.49. I gotta say these are good strawberries. About the same price. We've seen it a couple places for $2.99. We saw them at Aldi's the other day for $1.99, but they didn't have, they had like three packs. Glad to see they still have my bread on sale. I get this private selection 12 grain bread. Good hearty bread. Don't know if it's good for you, but I like it. Just wanted to give you guys an idea of how much they've taken out of Kroger here to move stuff around. I mean, this huge, this used to be completely full. Now it is like wide open. This is how much stuff that they're not getting in anymore. Now, I mean, you know, they're spreading it out. They're condensing things to make it look better. I understand that, but I just kind of wanted to give you a good pan view here of what's going on. You know, it's, it's nuts. That being said, they're getting ready for the big Mardi Gras celebration. These look really good. Always love the colors with Mardi Gras. The green, purple, yellow. Hey, they got some king cake here. How much is that, 11 bucks? Well, I mean, yeah, don't look bad. Got all kinds of Mardi Gras stuff going on. Even got the balloons ready to go. This is just unacceptable. You know, 449, okay, so total price, price with card, 350, okay, so, okay, but this is gonna be the regular price. These have always been 299. Um, they just recently went up to $350, I guess, because I've never paid that for them. So $350, but the regular price now is going to be $449. No thanks. I'll just make my own cookies. And that's a shame because they're really good cookies. But as you can see, nobody's buying them because, you know, it's just too expensive. 
I was always excited to point out that even in, during all these crazy price increases that the Hawaiian sweet rolls were staying down to $3.79. Like even while everything else was going up, these well overpriced from the beginning, sweet rolls were $3.79. They finally went up to $3.99. They're delicious, and I'm glad it only went up 20 cents. I, I bet they go up again here before too long. Um, they've always been crazy high, like $3.79 for years. So for them to only go up 20 cents in the last few months, well, do have a sale on the bell peppers four for five dollars which isn't the best sale we've seen on them but normally a dollar 39 a piece so you save a few cents we buy these all the time so whenever there's a deal i try to buy them up and freeze them if i have to i told you guys these were going to be going up the kroger's the kroger's romaine heart lettuce 3.99 if you want the organic you're going to pay even more of a fortune 4.99 i'm gonna be honest with you i think the kroger one looks better Maybe that could be the price, but this one looks way more green. This is all, I don't know. Don't look, don't look that great. I noticed they did bring their black grapes down to $2.49 a pound, uh, but the other grapes are up. This is what they were a week ago, $2.79 a pound for green grapes. That is up from $2.49, and the red grapes, $2.79 a pound, which has gone up from $2.49. Did happen to find some of these Driscoll strawberries. I like Driscoll's, $2.99 a pound, um, yeah. A little cheaper than the other ones. So I gotta say, this is the most mushrooms that we've seen here in a while. They dropped the price back down to $1.99. This was $2.09. And I know this has been an issue across the country. A lot of people have been saying you haven't been able to find mushrooms. Uh, that's the cheapest two Portobello ones I've seen. $3.49. Still ridiculously expensive, but somebody was asking about them, so I like to point it out. I was gonna get some of the 99 cent 16 ounce carrots, which they do not have, so. I don't know, buy the little snacking carrots. Those should be 99 cents too. They're, they were 99 cents for the four pack of snacking carrots. Now they're up to $1.39. Got a lot of good comments on the DiCecco. This is the most of the DiCecco that we've seen. It's been 2.29 here for a long time. Um, this says 7.18.22. So does that mean it's gonna be this price till July? I doubt it. <laughs> That's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, they definitely have some more spaghetti than they had the last time. Must have gotten an order from Kermet. The funny thing is, is that they're out of a lot of their stuff. Uh, probably, well, it's not really funny because it's a dollar a box. That's a pretty good deal. Um, but they are out of a lot of it. They do have some spaghetti. They do have some Barilla back in, too. However, it is a dollar eighty a box. Seems a bit much for Barilla. Um, you know, I would probably choose this over Kermet. Kermet is two for three dollars, so it's a dollar fifty a box. It's been that sale for a while, too. Um, we'll have to keep an eye on this. They do have like the egg noodles that some of you guys were talking about for a dollar thirty five or a dollar thirty nine for a uh, one pound bag. They do have a sale on their Campbell's 10.5 ounce cans of soup right now, dollar fifty a piece. We've seen it cheaper at some other places, but this is the best sale that we've seen at Kroger, on like the chicken noodle, um, tomato soup, cream of chicken soups, all the different ones that are 10.5 ounces are on sale for $1.50. Well, this is kind of weird. So a lot of their uh, Kroger brand vegetable beef, chicken with rice, these are now four for $5, making it $1.25 a piece. And their cream of soups have gone up to 99 cents. Now, I'm sure this is in response to Campbell's raising their prices. This looks like a pretty good deal. These were 69 cents not that long ago. Now they're 90. They did go up to like 79. And now they're 99. It's crazy. Just wanted to point out because we get a lot of comments on it is the Swanson chicken broth here is the you don't want to buy it here. 279. We saw there was 219 at Meyer. It seems cheaper everywhere else you go. So if you need broth, I recommend Aldi's. We get the Aldi one for $1.25. I mean, that's a heck of a deal. Always buy up a couple of them when we're there just to have. They do have Progresso still on sale this week. I checked the expiration date just to make sure. Uh, it expires by next Tuesday, the 1st of March. Um, two for four dollars. That's a pretty decent deal. We saw the regular price at Meyer was two oh nine, which I wasn't sure if they still had their sale at Kroger. So this is definitely the better deal for now. 
And we don't know what those prices are going to be next week for Target. We saw that Target was the best place to buy them at $1.49 a can, but I think those have gone up. And if you want Campbell's Chunky Soup, I would not buy it here. It is $2.59 a can. That is crazy. They do have some ramen back in. Two for $3 of the six-pack. Different flavors. Looks like all they have is chicken and beef right now. They do have some of the boxes. Uh, these are $2.99 for the 12-pack. I know a lot of you guys out here like the Ben's Ready Rice. That's why I'm, I'm telling you now, not only is it up $2.19, but if you really like it and you find it, I would buy some up because this is the same thing that we're seeing all over the place. It's, it's been wiped out. Um, and we're starting to see the stickers on here, which is telling us we don't know when they're going to be able to get it back in. They do still have their rice and ronies on sale, 10 for 10. Let's check the date just to make sure. It says good till the 8th of March. So they probably have this good for a couple weeks. One thing of stir fried rice, and that's actually not. They got a bunch back here, but I know we have a bunch of these, but I always try to buy one just to have. Check the date. January 12th, 2023. We'll eat it before then. They do still have the nor sides, pasta sides, and the rice sides on sale. 10 for 10. You don't have to buy 10. Although I may recommend it because the price is going to be going up to $1.25. Four for $5. We saw they were $1.35 a pack at Meyer. Someone asked if that was a family pack. I've don't think so. I think it was the same. Looks like the same size. These are 5.7 ounce packs. I don't know if, yeah, all of them. Well, okay, so one of them's 5.6 here for the rice. So we'll, we'll check that next time we go to Meyer. But I've never seen a family pack of the North Sides. So we'll check on that. But I'm pretty sure that's what it was. As far as like dry beans and rice in a bag, this is definitely something that I would pick up when you see it because. It is just going more and more out the door and we're seeing more and more stickers and convenience stickers all over the place. So something you definitely want to consider getting if you want to stock up on a couple of these things. Most expensive place we've seen Del Monte so far. Two for three dollars, making it a dollar fifty a can. Now we do think that this is gonna be going up at other stores, it just hasn't made it yet. But $1.50 a can, so another thing. I'm glad we bought up a bunch when we had a chance. Do see that the Kroger's canned fruits are a little cheaper than the ones at Meyer, the Meyer version. $1.59 here. We did see ones at Meyer for $1.69 to $1.79 a can. So a little cheaper here at Kroger on that one. And a lot of the canned vegetables at Kroger are 75 cents. However, there are some that are 85 cents. You just gotta kinda look around. Um, we, I like getting the Italian style green beans, but they are 85 cents a can now. Um, not too big of a price hike. Uh, you know, a few months ago they were 59 cents, so you could get them like two for a dollar sometimes. Not the kind that our viewer was looking for, but they do have sauerkraut. It is very low though. They are out of a lot. Um, they do have the Kroger for 89 cents. The Vlasic for $3.39. Um, as we get closer to St. Patrick's Day, sauerkraut's going to be harder and harder to find. But they do have some here at Kroger. Somebody was asking about the party size of the Cafe Bastello. They do have it here at Kroger. Uh, $15.99 for this coffee here. 36 ounces. Their Kroger coffee's on sale this week too. $6.99, which this is up from just a couple months ago. A $4.99. That's what makes this such such a great deal. Some of the decaf. I know some of you guys out there like decaf. The coffee mate that me and Jess get. $5.99 for this one right here. For this big value size coffee mate. I get one double this size at Sam's Club for $5.98. So it's actually a penny cheaper. And I get twice as much. $5.49 at Meyer. Also $8.49 for 12 ounces. 12 ounces of ground coffee. $8.49 Starbucks. We have a lot of people asking about the Keystone meats. They've gone up a little. $7.99 now for the pork, but they have the pork in. We haven't seen the pork anywhere. $7.99 for the chicken. They don't even have a tag here for the beef. The beef is right around $10. It's, uh, it was $9.49 at Meyer. but if these have gone up to $7.99, I'm sure this is probably gonna go up to $9.99. So we saw at Walmart the other day that Kellogg's Raisin Bran was 2 dollars 
for the 16.6 ounce box, $3.99 here. $3.99 for just the regular small box of Raisin Bran. I do want to point out that they have a digital sale on the Kroger's uh, Old Fashioned Oats. Brings it down to $1.79 for a 42 ounce. It's a pretty good deal. Someone actually left that in the comments here. Uh, that's, you know, about as good a deal as you're going to get. I know it was $4.49 for the uh, Quaker version. They're running very low on their Kroger version of the packets of instant oatmeal. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's four for five dollars. That could be part of the reason. But, well now, okay, they do have a deal on the Quaker instant oatmeal, which is normally $3.99. That's why I think a lot of people have been buying that up. Plus, you can see stickers down here, so it's hard to get in. It's a hot commodity right now. Um, $3.90 or $2.27 on sale. Digital coupon you can use up to five times for $1.27. So you could get any of these Quaker boxes for $1.27 with the digital coupon up to five times. That blueberries and cream is really good. So they have regular size Oreos here for $3.99 or you can get the family pack for $3.99. Same price and you get more. Okay, so we've been getting more and more comments on cat food and the lack thereof as you can see there are stickers on everything absolutely everything now now friskies i just noticed here they went up they just went up 65 cents a can now it's up to 70 cents a can i know it says 10 for 7 but when it does that all you need is your kroger card and you get it for 70 cents a piece um but yeah i mean it's it's very low it's been low for months but we are starting to oh look at this Fancy Feast, 10 for 8 now. These were 75 cents. Now they're 80 cents, so they're up too. Not surprised here with how hard it's been to get in. This is something that a lot of people have been, have been having issues with. And again, I will say you can go to Chewy.com, uh, Tractor Supply. Been having trouble with PetSmart. I went to PetSmart the other day. I know some people were wanting me to do a video there, but there, there's nothing really there. Like, it's it's maybe a little more than this but not much seem to have a good amount of dog food they've got a lot of the bigger packs of dog food too but we are seeing stickers we're seeing stickers everywhere on dog food too haven't had much about dog food in the comments so i don't cover it as much you know if more people were talking about it then i would probably come and show to see what they have pedigree seems to be the main one uh, Purina one is a big one, but pedigree we've been seeing everywhere and Alpo. Okay, so I've gotten a lot of requests to check on baby food. There was a recall on Similac just about a week ago. And actually, I don't think it was just Similac. Um, we have heard a couple other brands that have had um, recalls on them. And I'll tell you what, for baby formula, that's just... that's. That's crazy. I, I would never think in a million years of all the things that you would have recalls on would be baby formula. Now, they do seem to have a good amount, more than they had that one time when we were here when it was a little crazy, when it was near empty. But um, now as far as like down here, I think these are just waters and different things. I don't think these are actually for baby formula. But they do seem to have a decent amount. They This is probably where that recall was in this section right here. Let's check out. Okay, so Similac sensitivity, sensitivity formula powder. So yeah, some people were saying it was the powders. So a lot of these uh, powder form is out. And, you know, hopefully they get them back in here at some point. Because I know every, every baby is different and needs a certain kind of formula. But yeah, it is, uh, yeah, it seems like the recall has come here too. And we'll just have to keep our eyes out on this. Thank you for all of you who left that down in the comments because this is something we definitely need to check on. As far as like baby food goes, everywhere I've gone seems to be pretty well loaded on baby food. Uh, Walmart was a little low the other day, but I mean, they'll get it back in. I mean, if, if Kroger's is getting this much, I'm sure Walmart right down the road is getting it too. So, um, and they seem to be pretty full on a lot of different things, even have some sales going on. I just noticed too that they do have a digital coupon on Pampers this week. Uh, boy, you can use it up to five times too. I know them babies go through them diapers. 
Uh, looks like uh, 26 night. Looks like three dollars off. Three dollars off digital. Hey guys, well, I'm back from Kroger. Uh, wasn't able to cover everything that I wanted to today. Uh, it was getting a little long. I ran out of time, but I will be going to Kroger Marketplace here in a couple days to uh, check out all the stuff that we missed today and to cover some more of the sales. Prices are starting to skyrocket. It's it's getting ridiculous. It seems like every day. It seems like every day prices are going up. But anyway, thank you so much for watching the video today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.